Hello, welcome to Life in Ohio vlog for January 13th, 2020. Finally getting around the recording of vlog. Um, been kind of hectic uh, start to the new year. Lots of stuff going on with work, lots of stuff going on with my church. Um, and some of it, some of which I want to talk about, but I really can't talk about right now. Um, but one of the things I wanted to share with you today was why I got into creating videos for my church uh, and and uh, why did that thing actually happen so um, I remember clearly not the exact day but I remember the event uh, which was the very first Meta Purpose at Grace Ministries which is uh, what well we may not be that for much longer but that is was my church back then um, and still my church today. It's just right now we're in transition. So, um, my very good friend Rob Fott uh, was planning this retreat. I wasn't really planning on going. Um, I don't know why I was pl not planning on going, but uh, so he asked me if I was going to the retreat. I said, I wasn't planning on it. At least I think. Now granted, this is just my hazy recollection of events that were eight years ago. Uh, probably, well, less than eight years ago, but still a long time ago. Um, and uh, so he'd asked me, well, if you come, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take pictures and stuff through the day. And I'd like to create a video slideshow uh, that uh, we could show on Sunday. You, know, you can edit it. You can bring your computer and stuff. Edit it uh, at church on um, Saturday night. Show it on Sunday. So that was the first video I ever created uh, that was viewed by anybody other than myself or my family or anything like that. All right. People seem to like it. I, of course, being the perfectionist, haven't liked it. But ever since then, I have been adding equipment like, for example, this thing here, the Osmo Mobile. Or not the Osmo Mobile, the Pocket Osmo. Uh, my DSLR, uh, my drone, my Osmo Mobile 2, and other cameras and stuff. And improved my craft over the last few years. Uh, and probably the most important thing there was uh, why kind of why I'm recording this video. Um, why did I say yes? I'm not 100% sure why. I had never done anything like that before. Never. Played around with it, you know, a little bit here and there, but I'd never done anything like that at all. All right. So... Um... One of the first things I did when I was asked about it, I prayed about it. And before I gave Rob my answer, I did pray about it. Um, although it might have been a two-second prayer. Because <laughs> I think I told him almost immediately yes. Uh, so one of the things, uh, one of the reasons why I said that is kind of because I kind of felt like God was kind of pulling me in that direction and get more involved and to do things uh, other than the things. Uh, when I first started doing stuff for the church, I started doing things like, well, we did a... A recording, audio recording only, uh, of the sh of the uh, church services, and, and put that in a podcast form so that people can download them. Uh, it was up on, I think at one point it was might have been up on iTunes. I can't remember. So, I just kind of felt God pulling me in that direction, and ever since then, now not now um, we don't have the retreat anymore, but I'm still creating videos for the church. I just created one, uh, um, for a year in review to the kind of review. Uh, the merger process, but back if you'd asked me back then uh, if that was a ministry, I would have probably told you no. But now that I've been doing this for <laughs> almost eight years now, um, it definitely is. It definitely is. So now I'm working on taking over some of the live streaming. Uh, that we do, we live stream our services every day at graceministries.org, or you can also go into the Boxcast app and um, download the uh, 
not download, but stream the video service either um, as we do it or at a later time. So say you completely miss the service, you can go ahead, ahead and watch it later, which is great. All you got to do is go in the box, put the box cast app, app from Roku or Apple TV on your device and search for either Grace Ministries or Lighthouse Ministries. If you go in there, you can see our live stream and um, that's going to be a part of what I do. So uh, interesting stuff. Uh, it's going to be a good time um, uh, learning uh, what we can do to uh, basically get the word of God out to more people. And that's really the most important thing with this is that is that this gets gets the word of God out before people uh, and they can uh, talk to uh, um, other people by you know just sending us an email uh, or you can uh, uh, use that just to say, well, is it worth going there? You know, do, will I like the service? It's probably the best thing it's for. So, anyway, but, um, but more to that though, is it a ministry? Absolutely, it is a ministry. It is absolutely a ministry, and it's not just a ministry for people who watch the videos, who watch the live stream. It's one for me, because one of my favorite things I like to do. Um, quite quite often, um, I'll do this during the service, or um, you know, especially in the special services like Easter Sunday, Christmas, somewhere around there. Is I do like to bring my cameras with me, or at least one of my cameras with me, and take pictures uh, of people who are being touched uh, by the worship music and are being impacted by what they see. Um, these uh, impromptu pictures, they're not posed. Um, but as I looked through them, and it was especially uh, prevalent with the um, men's retreat pictures, because um, I got a lot of pictures of guys praying and, and stuff like that, and you can just feel the emotion that they were feeling as you watch the video and as when you uh, look at their picture. So um, that touches me. You know, and I hear the the music over and over as I'm doing editing, and I and I and I um adjust the audio for certain things like not very many of my videos uh, have had a um a uh, like an a uh, vocal track uh, or a person talking some have but not very many of them have but most most often it's a backing track with uh, pictures and video and uh and it 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 touches me it's a ministry for my heart as well so if somebody ever asks you to do something in your church, don't be afraid. Um, pray about it. And it could be one of the most impactful things on your life. It has with me. So, amen. That's going to be the vlog for today. Uh, keep it right around uh, 10 minutes. Um, what I may do, um, I might take out the music, but I may go ahead and slip in a... Uh, clip or two from uh, videos I've created in the past just so that uh, you can kind of see um, uh, how uh, how the uh, my craft has gone over the years so anyway have a great week talk to you later and God bless